When I talk about the torsion bar in a spool valve, a lot of people think that it's the, actually it's the cross shaft. They see the splines on there and they think about the torsion bars in their car and they just assume that this is the torsion bar that I'm referring to and that's not the case. This is a spool valve assembly here. As you take a spool valve apart, what you have is, is you have your inner drum, your outer drum, your main shaft, and this area right here is considered to be the wheel. Inside your main shaft, in the wheel part, this right here on the end that you can see is your torsion bar. And it's pinned right here, and it's splined and sometimes also pinned on the end there. And this literally is the torsion bar. It's just like a little bitty torsion bar like you'd have in a spool valve. <laughs> but anyway, but every time when your car's sitting there still in the shop, and you take the steering wheel and you tug the top of it over to the side a little bit, you'll feel the springy part of your steering. What you're doing is you're twisting this little spool, this little torsion bar right here. And what I've always suggested to customers to keep from there being, since you're not working off a of pump pressure and you're literally a mechanical thing at that point, then what I always suggest is, is people grab the front wheel of the car in the shop and turn instead of grabbing the steering wheel and twisting your little torsion bar all the way over to mechanical override. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a safety factor and making sure that you don't do any damage at that point in time. Also, on your spool valve, on your, on your outer drum here, the fitting, the dash six fitting that's coming in on the side where your pressure's coming in there, blows in to this section right here. If these seals, these three seals right here you have, if they're not sealing properly against the housing in the case there, then what can happen is it's just like ring blow by on a piston. As your pressure comes in the side here, if, if these seals are not sealing properly, it blows over and goes into the return side, uh, which will reduce the efficiency of your steering and make it feel a little funny to the feel of the driver. Uh, but I think that covers <laughs>